She pretty much had a heart of gold, like she was willing to help anyone. Family and friends are dealing with a heartbreaking loss this morning after a young mother is killed in a car crash. Now, police are trying to find the people who caused this crash. Carlos Diaz joins us here with why this investigation centers around some motorcyclists. Hey, Carlos. Good morning, Ben. Yeah, police are actually hoping to find at least four people, and maybe one of them will come forward, because not only do you have the two men driving the motorcycles, witnesses say there were two women riding on the back of the motorcycles. Now, this all happened one week ago near State Road 44 near Shelbyville. 25-year-old Heather Post swerved to avoid the two motorcyclists who were allegedly driving recklessly, weaving in and out of traffic. That caused Heather to break hard and veer across the center line where she was hit by an oncoming pickup truck. Heather was the mother of four-year-old Jocelyn, and she was also a stepmom to a four-year-old boy. Somebody really does need to come forward because poor Jocelyn, she lost a parent through all this, and it's just it's not fair. Um, okay, so this right, Heather's friends at A and K Creations are selling T-shirts and decals as a fundraiser to help uh, Heather's fa uh, family meet their expenses. Tulips were Heather's favorite flower, purple her favorite color. And uh, according to police, the motorcyclist sped away. They may have gotten onto Interstate 74. Both bikes were Harley Davidson-style bikes. Driven by men, one of the men on the back of the one of the men had a woman on the back of the bike who was thin and blonde, wearing a fluorescent green sweatshirt. Police say authorities are, and friends are hoping that these people, maybe the motorcyclists and witnesses, may come forward with more information. Guys, it's just so tragic and sad. Carlos, thank you so much.